Hello everyone, uh, we are going to start an informative video on how to uh, properly regen a 966M. Also this will work for all M model loaders. Um, so first off we're going to start by coming here to our panel. And we're going to turn our master switch off on. Okay, master is on. This one has a nice fancy switch here that we click and will open the door for us. So that's very nice. As we climb in the machine here. All right. We will climb in, shut our door, lower our armrest here. Okay, now we'll start the machine. Now I previously had this machine running, so we should be good. So we're just gonna turn key on. And as we wait, we'll see our lights come on. Okay, now that everything's kind of set, We'll crank over. All right, now everything is running. So we want to first start off, um, like I said, this is a video of how the regeneration process works for an M loader. Um, so uh, first, which our coolant temp dropped, so we're gonna we're gonna start, but we do need to be a little warm for coolant temp. Sometimes if it's cold enough, actually, um, you will see a machine do a regen process. It's, it's a cold start process to get uh, everything up to temp and your exhaust up to temp. Um, but we are now started. Okay, so first we'll start here. We're just quickly our gauges, um, this bottom one here. Uh, this is your hydraulic oil temperature. This is your coolant temperature. This is your transmission temperature, your fuel gauge, and also this is your def level gauge. Okay, so our parking switch is on. And we are in neutral, so everything is set properly there. Now I do want to show you, um, just because your parking light is um, illuminated doesn't necessarily mean that our parking brake is on. So if I come over here, well actually first, I'm sorry, I'm going to lift our armrest up. Okay, then we will switch our parking brake off. Okay, because our armrest is up, right, if you see this warning light and your parking brake, um, the symbol is still on, but if we go look at our display screen here, which this is also very important, your display screen, parking brake, switch off, apply. So we'll go back down. We will apply our brake. Our light is off. Okay, and there we are now our parking brake is on and we're in neutral. And we'll put our armrest back down. Okay, so from here, um, as we're operating the machine, um, your machine will call and, and, and tell you that it needs to go through a regeneration process. If your machine is under a heavy load as you're operating, it will do it on its own as long as your exhaust temperatures meet the cr criteria it needs to. If it doesn't, you will have a light down here that is like this, this right here, okay? You'll have a light that comes on down here and it'll start off an amber, an amber light and tell you that, hey, um, we're gonna be ready to do a regeneration here soon. Also here on your display screen, any light that comes on down there, 
here if you're ever wondering what these lights are take a look up here because more than likely it'll also give you some more information up here on what is going on so if your machine is calling for a regeneration um, and it's not doing it's on its own uh, you need to then um, get the machine parked in a safe area have your parking brake set and then also be in neutral parking brake set be in neutral very very important and our def level gauge right we're we're good there now as long as you do that and it's calling for its regen and you sit and park okay and i'll show you the light that will come on as it regens so you know what's going what that it is in process um everything should work normally now you can manually run a regeneration if again you need it we also call it, it's known as a parked regeneration if you come over here to your panel okay you have also these two symbols again here and here the one on your left or actually i'm sorry <laughs> would be our right uh with this line through it um, this actually inhibits and stops the regeneration process and also will turn the auto regeneration process off so it won't um, do an auto regen. This here is a button you, this button here will, is your manual regen mode. So first I'm going to show you, we should never touch this button, but I'm going to show you for this purpose here. We hold it down for one, two. Okay, regen disabled. Also now you have this icon here, this symbol here, telling you, hey, your regeneration um, auto is on and your regeneration is in manual. Simply if you, if you get in and you see that display, um, you do not want that on there. We will simply come over here to our manual regen. Now we're gonna hold this for one, two seconds. This light will kick on. This is the light I said I would show you. This light is will kick on and show you that it goes into a regeneration process. As that light is on, you will also hear your engine and your RPMs increase. Uh, that is to get your exhaust, exhaust temperature up, okay? This light has gone off for us, and also now we're here, so again, we know we're in auto uh, regeneration mode. Now I'm gonna show this one more time because we missed the display. So one, two, our light is on, we're in regen. We'll go up here, which will probably shut off on us. It'll say regen stop, meet conditions. Um, there's some conditions met right now that aren't being met at the moment um, that is inhibiting us from doing our regeneration process. Uh, more than likely, I've just started the machine um, we're either not up to cooling temp or this machine has, uh, isn't ready for one, right? So it, it's not, it's telling us, hey, I, I don't, my soot levels are low. Um, we do not need to do a regeneration at this point. Uh, that's very simple at that. Okay. Um, also, if you're doing a regeneration process and you see this light that we showed you illuminated, um, that it, it's regen is in process. Um, another thing that can inhibit is if you try to drive the machine. Uh, if you try to drive the machine, undo your parking brake, set it and drive, that will also. Once your machine has started its regeneration process, you must sit, wait until that uh, process is over and you will know that by this light going off and your RPM gauge will drop back down. Uh, then you'll be ready to go. Um, then on from there, um, that's very simple. From there, um, when we shut our machine down, this is also very, very important. Okay, we're going to shut our machine off. Um, this machine is shut off uh, particularly quick because it's cool, but the M's do have a cool down process, and it will tell you on the display um, up here again. And I want to show you also def purge, active, do not disconnect battery power. Um, but yes, if the machine doesn't seem to shut off right away, uh, it's actually doing an auto cool down mode. 
uh, it will shut off and it will display to you that that is what's going on but we do see this is also very important def purge activated do not disconnect battery this is also very very important we'll now lift our armrest up We're going to go out here to where our master disconnect is, and we see a yellow light on, okay? This yellow light right here, this is our light indicating that our deaf lines are purging, also indicated on the screen inside. Do not cut that master off. Now the light is off. We can now cut that and shut our machine, and it's shut down safely with our lines purged. Thank you and be informed, more to come.